Scour all the fairs, you'll find no better wares. Pick and choose while I've the inclination. Might we speak? Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bourbeau. Fine. Monsieur de Bourbeau. The emphasis falls on the last. Syllable. Bobo? Mm-hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Nortlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil, then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence, a strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night. Just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Hmm. Most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yea or nay? Depends. What kind of reward are we talking about? Hmm... Fine. Seems I must take the loss. Agreed. Fine. I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. Be gone from my sight! Let's look around.
Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? What the... be able to break through.
interesting by the minute. Kicky more eggs. Should destroy them before the young hatch. Start prowling the vineyard. Damn it. Young could hatch any minute. No kicky more dug this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. Cracked kicky more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Water coursing. Underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores, and is big. Very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Damn it. Young could hatch any minute. Calm down. Sacre bleu! What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property! Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug them. A large creature. Also killed a few kikimores down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimore eggs? Yes, of course. Good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. Jean-Luc went to reconnoiter and never returned. Where'd you last see Jean-Luc, madame? Exactly. In... in the fields, uh, north of here, by the wood. New seedlings there? I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well-built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well-built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Mm. Then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. 
Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Hmm. Perhaps I can turn this tower. 